a ITE West campus and it is the newest ITE campus in Singapore. The ITE West campus is actually a green mark platinum building. What does it mean to be a green mark platinum building? For you to achieve green mark platinum status, you need to save 30% more energy than a normal building. What this means is that the MLE engineer who designs the building has to ensure that the equipment that he selects are energy efficient equipment and the system that he designed has to be more energy efficient than a normal building. Because this is a Green Mark Platinum project, um, there are a lot of uh, energy efficient uh, features uh, in this project. But one of the more notable ones I would say would be the um, hot water system. The hot water system is actually to provide hot water to the training hotel. We use solar panels and this heat harness from the sun is actually used to heat up the water. It's very energy efficient. And when you reduce energy consumption, you pay less in your utility bills, in your water bills, in your uh, energy bills, electricity bills. So that is the first very tangible benefit. Well, the second benefit, of course, is that your contribution back to the environment. You are actually being uh, green and you are being responsible, it's a corporate social responsibility to the environment. After visiting the IT College West building, um, I feel that being a green mark building is not just the architects or the, or the structural engineers work. Since an M&E engineer's job is to create the mechanical and electrical systems in a building, which very much determine its energy consumption. Therefore, whether a building is green or not depends a lot on the M&E engineer's work. Now it is actually a growing trend to use computer simulation software and modelling tools to aid in the building and construction uh, industry, especially during the design phase because it helps the professionals to predict the end product of the building, whether it will behave as what they want. Computer simulation tools are actually very uh, important for us to uh, build up the, the building itself to be a sustainable building. Initially, my idea of being in the building and constructions industry was a lot of on-site work, but there's also a lot of technology behind that work, I realised. For example, they use the computer simulations to help them predict possible problems, which also makes the design more efficient. So after visiting these two uh, very green buildings, uh, the Zero Energy building as well as ITUS, what is your feeling about uh, M&E engineering? Now I feel that I learn more about what an M&E engineer does is the brain and the veins behind how the building works. Actually, a lot of us are very interested to know the career prospects for an M&E engineer. So are M&E engineers in great demand right now? M&E engineers are always in demand because technology always advances. The M&E equipment that we install always keep getting better and better and better. There will always be um, refurbishment additional alteration works as well. There's always uh, plenty of overseas opportunities for M&E engineers um, because as you know Singapore the land is quite scarce so we also have to expand our business to cater to overseas uh, buildings as well. When you go to uh, other countries for example China um, there are four seasons you have to learn how to cater for this in between seasons. Overseas opportunities really helps the engineers to widen their perspective, widen their horizons and learn more things. Knowing that the uh, government is pushing for green buildings, right? So, uh, why is the opportunities are uh, given for the mechanical engineering graduates? The vision is such that by the year 2030, the, the government is looking at having at least 80% of all buildings in Singapore to be certified green. So, there are a lot of existing buildings that need to be retrofitted. There's a lot of opportunities for M&A engineers to do a redesign and make sure that um, the uh, M&E systems with inside that building are sufficient for that building to achieve the Green Mark Award. And it's not a long way to go. You only have 19 years to go and it's 80%. You imagine there's a lot of buildings that need to achieve uh, sustainable uh, design by 2030. So what advice do you have for aspiring M&E engineers? Um, my advice would be build your foundation strong persevere, never give up. I've been in this line for coming close to 12 years already. The thing that keeps me going uh, every day is that I know that today I'm going to learn something new. That actually drives me. 
what is most uh, satisfying about being an M&A engineer is that end of the day you know that um, whatever you have designed and implemented in your building is being enjoyed by the end users. When you get feedback, wow, this room is really very conducive for my work and I, or I feel very productive in my work. It gives you the sense of uh, satisfaction that you've done a really great job and you are proud to own this job and say that yes, I was the one who designed the M&A system of this building. And when you see the final product, it's like everything just comes alive, you know. The internal organs are working all together, the brain is working together with the heart and with the, with the rest of your system, with the, with the veins, you know. The person is actually walking, you know, because of whatever you have put in the body. That is the really great sense of achievement. After meeting Irene Sherry, I'm very keen to contribute to the built environment. I love challenges. I can visualize myself as M&E engineer who can contribute to create greener buildings and lower down the carbon footprints. After I know Irene, I realized that even girls can also be uh, M&E engineers. I don't really like to get uh, cooked up in the office 24 hours a day. So this profession might be suitable for someone like me who enjoys going outdoors and also I like to work with people. Being an M&E engineer is also about the interaction between your team members and other engineers to make the building a livable and enjoyable place. M&E engineering is something very dynamic. You can always look forward to learning something new every day. The need and the hunger for knowledge, that will drive you to uh, go on and on and on.